Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, comment down below, or I'll punch you in the throat. I swear to God, I'll do it. Don't think I won't, because I will. You need to subscribe, man. Do it right now. Right now, just hit that little button. Do it. Do it. All right. All right, let's get back to what we were talking about. Season 2, Episode 7 of Final Space. And I think there is a plot hole in here uh, based on a comment that I found on the wiki uh, by WikiT98. Uh, the, they say, I have a serious problem with the plot of this episode. Nightfall said that in this episode, that in all the timeline she visited, Gary detonated the animator bomb to save Quinn and close the breach. However, she previously said in Chapter 7, this is Season 1, uh, that Lord Commander kills Gary after it leaves the Galaxy 1, causing Moon Cake to go into a grief-stricken rage and open a breach that allows the Titans to destroy the universe. Uh, this is a serious plot on the show because it shows that Nightfall knew how to close the breach this entire time. Uh, can anyone care to explain this huge contradiction? Um, so, basically, there's another comment on there as well, kind of explaining it, uh, but basically the breakdown is... Um, Nightfall can, I guess, travel multiple different timelines, um, and inevitably, where there's death, there is always going to be some sort of death, uh, whether it is possibly Quinn dying or possibly Gary dying, one of the others. And uh, the, the reply to this comment is, uh, yeah, she also said she transversed multiple times lens. In some cases, they likely fail closing the breach because he was killed, so she went back, and sometimes he died closing the breach, so she, she went back. The only consistent is that he always dies one way or the other. Uh, so consistently, Gary seems to always die, uh, but in this case, we know that he did not die uh, because Mooncake actually sealed the uh, final space yet again. And the only way they're going to be able to get back to that is if they collect the five keys, which they haven't been doing for like the past three episodes. They haven't found one. So I don't know where the season's going or if they're even going to collect uh, the other three keys to unlock Bolo uh, this season. But we will just have to wait and see. Uh, but basically, we get to see in this episode basically how depressed uh, Nightfall or Quinn, older Quinn is. Uh, because... Even if she saves Gary, uh, Gary looks her in the eyes and realizes that, yes, she is Quinn, but she is also not my Quinn. There is something different about her. She's had different life experiences than me. We haven't had them together, um, and I don't want to be with her. So Quinn's sitting there like, great, there's this person that talks like him, acts like him, is him in pretty much every sense of the world word for it, uh, but she can't have him, and that kills her inside. Uh, so she, basically she tries to um, create another Gary in this virtual reality machine uh, that they have on the ship. But it puts a great power strain on the ship, releasing a bunch of evil Kevin robots that Clarence bought in the past, thinking that he might be able to make money off of them. And then there's this kind of side story thing um, where Ash, Fox, Little Cotto, um, and Clarence are all trying to fight um, the off the evil Kevins. They end up getting sucking them out into space, but they're still alive. Um, in the meantime, uh, Gary's mom still has that key, uh, so we will just have to wait and see what happens there. She has one of the infinity keys, which they're going to have to get back at some point in time. Um, so they have no, they still only have two. Um, I still don't know what the first one is. Maybe it's the cube or maybe it's mooncake. They still, I don't think they ever explained what the uh, first infinity key was that they already had on the ship, uh, which is kind of confusing. Then there's the whole, um, I guess it's like a lava lamp looking one uh then there's the one that was inside the diamond so we know of three out of the five currently uh so maybe they will collect them yeah, the other couple of them and they're going to drag out the season because there's this is only episode seven we got what we have six episodes left. Yeah, i think there's 13 episodes this season so we're gonna have six episodes left um so as i said hopefully at the end of it they're either going to release Bolo, or maybe they'll, within the next episode or two, they'll get both of the Infinity Keys and it's going to tie up the season all together. Uh, because, as I said, I don't know what the view count is, but it seems like it's a lot lower than it was for Season 1. Um, I'm not really sure how many people are watching it, how popular it is at this current point in time. Um, but um, if there's a cliffhanger for Season 2 and they said, yes, there'll be a Season 3, that'll be cool. If not... Well, it was a fun ride while it lasted, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure where they're going to go. Obviously, they need to reconnect with Gary's mother. Um, obviously, the evil Kevins, they can theoretically come back whenever. So if they want to do a filler episode at any point in time, any future season, they can just bring evil Kevins back for whatever reason. Um, 
there's some sort of shooting star thing at the end of the episode coming towards their ship. Not exactly sure what that was. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see there. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, Gary just kind of takes one for the team and him and him and Nightfall at least get together once or twice because at least that'll make her feel better. I know it's like messing with her emotional state and everything, but um, it would it would greatly make her feel better. It would definitely help the plot a little bit uh, because obviously they still got to save the original Quinn and who knows if that's ever going to happen uh, depending on how th the rest of the season goes. Uh, so we will just have to sit back and see. Um, if you noticed, my face is probably a little bit brighter because I finally replaced the batteries in my flashlights. That's right, I am using flashlights uh, because I am poor and cannot afford fancy lighting at this point in time. Um, so if you want to donate money <laughs> or, or something, let me know. I will gladly take it. Or if you just want to donate me, me a nice fancy light system and a nice camera, I'll take that too. But uh, don't worry about it too much. If, if you, I ever get my thousand subscribers, I will be putting that money back into the channel to give you guys better content. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.